Hey you guys, welcome to my channel And if you guys are new, welcome Join the Shima family, it's lit over here And today's video is going to be on tips and advice On how to get hired at a sneaker store Because if you ain't know, your girl work at a sneaker store You know, shout out to the stripes But uh, yeah, enough of the chit chat and the plan Let's get into the video Tip number one, dress professionally. When I say dress professionally, I mean, please don't pull up to the interview in some joggers, a t-shirt, and some sneakers. You're not going to get the job. I mean, there's a 2% that you might, but the 98 percentage, you're not going to get the job. This is a job interview. You need to look professional. The reason why I say dress professionally is because again these people don't know you from a can of paint so the more professional you look the more presentable you look and that's the type of people we need in the stores to look presentable um my advice number two is do not jump straight into the interview about how you love sneakers and you a sneaker head and all this nonsense save that for later perfect example why do you want to work for us? Oh, I want to work for your company because I love sneakers and I'm a sneaker head and I have like every single sneaker. Do not make because you love sneakers or you're a sneaker head your answers for any question. Hit them with some deep stuff. Like even if that's really the real reason why you want to work there for the sneakers, don't let that be known. You know, just hit them with some... <clears throat> Mm, mm. I'm reliable, I'm responsible, good with communicating back and forth with people, I'm good with handling situations. So they can be like, she said she good with people, we get people 24 sevens in this store. Oh, she said she good with solving problems, we get problems every other day with customers. Oh, she said, oh, she said she know how to do that. Oh yeah, we need her. My advice number three to you is, don't be a yes person. I don't know if they do this at every interview, but I know at my interview they ask us questions. It's like, um, what would you do if a customer came in the store yelling and you knew what they were yelling about was wrong? Would you sit there and just agree to everything the customer was saying or would you stand up and tell them what the policy is? And a lot of people be like, yes, I'll agree with the customer because customers are always right. No. Because if you want to sit there and say, yes, I'm going to agree with the customer, even though they're yelling about me about the wrong thing. It's just like, like, huh? Advice number four. Look them in the eye if you can. Or always try to make eye contact here and there. Because you won't know how important this is. And I've seen it done plenty of times. People will go on an interview and literally talk to them like this. You're a good fit for the store. And, um, yeah, you know. So, my, um, tip is look them on their forehead. Also, another tip, always smile. Don't overdo it, like. Don't, don't, don't do that. But, like, here and there, smile. I'm just a jolly, smiley person naturally, so I naturally tend to smile and smirk and chuckle and stuff like that. Because I'm just, that's just who I am. Going with a good intention is just not for discounts and this, that, and third and all the other stuff. Um, I don't know about any more questions. I don't have any more advice or tips for y'all because this is literally everything I just all the advice that I gave y'all is usually what I did at my interview or how my interview went for me. I know interviews at different stores and locations and stuff is all that varies from on how the manager wants to do the interview. But mine was quick and simple and yeah, and I got the job. So that's just and my advice on how to like literally get hired at like a sneaker store. I hope it helped you guys out a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up, share, and also like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.